alkali metals. It is a silent afternoon in a hot summer day. Sodium decided to take a break from its daily mundane routine and went to a beach for chilling out. But as soon as it entered into the sea, it turned red hot. In order to understand what had happened to sodium, let us learn about the family of elements belonging to group 1. Group 1 elements are located in the S block which is adjacent to the D block in the periodic table. Smallest one among these elements is lithium and the largest one is cesium and the size of elements increases as we go down the group. These elements are extremely soft. If softness is an art, then group 1 elements are Picasso of it. You can even cut these elements with a kitchen knife. They are also very good donor of electrons because they have only one electron in their valence shell. Thus, by losing a single electron, they can attain stable electronic configuration. As the atomic size of elements increase, it becomes extremely easy to remove electron from its valence shell. This ability is known as electropositivity. No matter who you are, group 1 elements will find you and give you an electron. Such soft elements with high electropositivity are extremely difficult to find in nature. You can easily find iron or any other metal in your surroundings, but you will never find sodium or other group 1 elements so easily because they are so reactive that they are always found in a compound form. It's hard to find any of these in elemental state. Even if you try very hard to separate them in elemental form by isolating them in a laboratory, these metals are so reactive that they instantly react with atmospheric oxygen to form an oxide layer on the surface. It is just like tanning of skins in humans, which occurs on exposure to sunlight. But unlike us, these elements do not require much time to form a layer. Just wondering how Indian moms would react if their sons behave like these metals? That is why we always store these elements in kerosene or in an inert gas. However, we must always check whether it is kerosene or not before storing them. Because if it is water, then congratulations, you just discovered fire again. <laughs> These metals react with water violently to form alkalis. That's why they are also called alkali metals. By this time, you would have come to a conclusion that these elements are hard to deal with. Yeah, to some extent they are. But our chemists discovered safe ways to use these compounds. For example, chemists found out that lithium has medicinal uses as an antidepressant. Cesium and rubidium are used in atomic clocks and our well-known sodium is present in table salt, which is nothing but sodium chloride. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn, download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for studying.